this is another really cool feature I want to point about the Phantom X, and that's whenever you're playing or recording a portion or doing a playback of a portion of a song, all these real-time controls, the filters, etc., can affect whatever track that you're working with. Let's go ahead and do some filtering on the drum patterns as we play this through. Now that'll stay that way whenever I'm, you know, going back and previewing this. But if you want to record that data into the track, all you're simply going to do is press the record button. Make sure that you're on the appropriate track. Another thing that's very important whenever you're recording control message data like that is you want to make sure and leave it to mix rather than replace, because what it would do is it would replace no notes because you're not playing anything but it would record just those note movements what we want to do is leave it to mix and this would keep the previously recorded notes but in addition would record these control messages that are received from the knobs here we don't need to have much of a count in here uh, again because we're not playing notes this time we're just re recording control data you would not want to leave that to wait no you would set that to one measure All this other information here really doesn't matter. That pertains to note data, so that's not really going to affect this recording as well. And now we can press F8 to start, and we'll just simply start tweaking the knobs. stop and now if we hit the uh, reset button here to take us to the beginning of the song and we'll go ahead and play this we'll be able to preview all those filter changes that we made in real time and I'll go ahead and press stop now and go to the beginning also I want to show you that in micro edit for this particular track where we recorded those control changes. If we go ahead and press F8, now we no longer just have note data in there, but we have these CCs, which stands for uh, control change that's present. And you can see that it's resonance and cutoff, and that's the two knobs that we were adjusting there. So all those values are there. And if you wanted to go back and do some edits to the particular drum pattern that was played, and let's say you were looking for a particular snare that's on a certain part rather than having all these control messages in there another good feature of the Phantom X is to be able to filter out the preview of all the note data and control data that's in there based on what type of data that it is you can do this by pressing the F8 button in micro edit and pressing the F8 button here for view and that's basically just a filter with the checkboxes of the data that you're previewing. So if you wanted to, you could go ahead and set these to all off or all on. And then we can go through and just check the note data by pressing the increment button there. And go ahead and closing this back down. And now we have just the, the notes that are played from that drum pattern rather than just the... Uh, rather than having the notes and the control data available there. Now keep in mind this isn't a race. This is still there. If we wanted to have all these cut back on, we could. And it's still there. It's just taken away from your view for ease of editing. <laughs> 